Welcome back to another insightful session with Informal Investor. Today, we'll talk about a medal that is present everywhere, only if you could see it. It sits at the heart of your smartphones, tablets, camera, batteries, and now even cars. In simple terms, this metal is a driver and the engine for technology. It could also dictate the future of a tech civilization. Not exaggerating, but we can't live without this metal. If you're still wondering what I'm talking about, it is lithium, also referred to as the white gold. In this video, we'll talk about lithium and the several applications of lithium. We will talk about how lithium ion batteries are powering dreams of a cleaner future and how they have become the heart and soul of the electric vehicle movement. We will then ponder upon the countries with lithium reserves and India's position in terms of demand and consumption. Lastly, we will talk about the government initiatives and look at the companies making substantial investments to cater to the growing demand in India. Let's begin. You're watching Informed Investor, an initiative by Research and Rank. Lithium, the lightest metal on earth, is a hidden force powering our technologically different lives. It is a light, silvery white metal that is so soft you can cut it with a knife. But why is it so significant? As we all know, the world is moving towards electric vehicles and renewable energy, but the single most important factor for this transition is none other than the evolution of batteries. And batteries have evolved over the years with from voltaic pile to lead acid batteries to finally lithium batteries and from just being a source of energy transfer, it has transformed into a more critical component, which is battery storage. And this is where lithium batteries come into the picture. Lithium is a metal that is known for its low density, high energy to weight ratio, and its ability to store enormous amounts of energy. Additionally, it exhibits high energy efficiency, good high temperature performance, long life, and low self-discharge. No surprise, it's also called as a powerhouse and referred to as the white gold of the 21st century. Lithium batteries have several applications as well. The first and the most common application is in electric vehicles. From two-wheelers to rickshaws to cars and buses, EVs are rapidly gaining traction fueled by lithium-ion batteries due to its superior energy density and range. Interestingly, these lithium-ion batteries are the most important and expensive component of an electric vehicle, costing approximately about 40 to 50% of the entire value of the vehicle. Integrating renewable energy sources like solar and wind power into the grid requires efficient storage solutions. Lithium-ion batteries with the fast charging and discharging capabilities are ideal for smoothing out intermittent renewable energy supplies. From laptops and smartphones to power banks and wearables, lithium-ion batteries are the lifeblood of modern gadgets. And as India's digital landscape expands, the demand for these batteries is expected to soar. Lithium batteries are finding their way into various medical equipment with pacemakers, portable defibrillators, and surgical tools. Even in today's modern world, there are issues with power instability and lithium technology is commonly used for emergency power backup or UPS battery models. While there are more applications like in glass, ceramics, lubricating greases, aerospace alarm and surveillance systems, the ones listed above are the most common ones. Interestingly, the usage of lithium has changed over the years. A decade ago, ceramics and glass accounted for the largest share of lithium consumption at 31%. However, the growing need and adoption of electric vehicles has led to the demand and consumption for lithium batteries, a major component in electric vehicles. Moving on to the next segment is looking at the countries that are rich in lithium reserves. The vast majority of the world's lithium reserves are found in the lithium triangle that is Bolivia, Chile and Argentina. Bolivia has by far the world's largest lithium reserves, but most of it remains in the ground as the country does not have the developed infrastructure to excavate it. India makes it in the list at the seventh spot with the recent findings in Rasai, a district located in the western part of Jammu and Kashmir. However, these findings in India are in its early stage referred to as inferred resources and needs more studies to ascertain that it is technologically, economically and environmentally viable to mine the mineral. But according to the Geological Survey of India and mining officials, the lithium deposits in these reserves are large enough to supply near 80% of India's overall demand. But more importantly, there is a contrast between countries having the most reserves and the actual lithium production. While Bolivia has of about 21 million tons of reserves, it is nowhere in the list of production of lithium. 
the fact that Bolivia's high altitude salt flats aren't suited to the usual extraction methods and the entire process of mining, processing and converting of lithium is complex. So Australia followed by Chile stand out as the top producers of lithium accounting for almost 77% of the global production in 2022. If you're wondering how India gets its lithium from, India unfortunately does not have its own lithium resources and relies heavily on imports. The country imported lithium worth $22.15 million in 2021 with Hong Kong, China and the US being the top resources. However, with the increasing demand for clean energy and the rise of EVs, the demand for lithium is only going to go up in the coming years, making it a highly valuable commodity. Energy storage technologies are predicted to play a major part in the decarbonization of the electricity and transport sectors. Among the several energy storage technologies available, lithium batteries are anticipated to dominate the market during the upcoming decade. In India, the lithium-ion battery business is anticipated to experience exponential growth over the next five years with areas such as grid-scale storage, electric vehicles and consumer electronics driving the charge and demand for lithium batteries. Moving on to the next segment and looking at the prominent players in the country in a category which is at the forefront of technological advancement, driving the transition towards a greener and more sustainable future. First up is Excite Industries, which is primarily engaged in the manufacturing of storage batteries and allied products for automotive sectors like two-wheelers, four-wheelers, rickshaws and UPS systems. It derives about 74% of its revenues from the battery segment and is India's largest battery selling company. In terms of lithium-based batteries, Excite Industries proposes to invest around 6,000 crores to set up a lithium-ion cell manufacturing unit in Karnataka over the next 8-10 to 10 years. And for this manufacturing project, they have secured a 2,000 crore line of credit from banks. The second company is Amara Raj Batteries Limited, which is again engaged in the production of lead-acid batteries for both industrial and automotive application in the Indian storage battery industry. The battery major is transitioning from lead-acid batteries to lithium-ion batteries and solutions for electric mobility. In terms of lithium-based batteries, it is one of the first to launch a gigafactory in Telangana with a planned investment of 9,500 crores over the next 10 years. Interestingly, the first phase, which will be around 1,500 to 2,000 crore, will be funded through internal sources. Next up is Servotech Power Systems Limited, which specializes in tech-enabled EV charging solutions for electric vehicles. It also operates in solar batteries, solar panels, lithium batteries, power solutions, etc. A major 60% of the revenue comes from EV-related products. Additionally, Servotech formed a subsidiary named TechBeck Industries Limited to undertake the business of lithium battery production and other allied activities. Another company, HBL Power Systems, is engaged in the manufacturing of service of different types of batteries, e-mobility and other products. They are known to be pristine battery makers in India, catering to industrial, defense and telecom batteries. And HBL is planning to set up its own manufacturing facility in Hyderabad to manufacture lithium ion cells and electric dry trains. The total cost for the proposed capex is expected to be around 110 crores. And apart from the companies specializing in the battery and energy storage systems, even Indian chemical companies are eyeing a slice of the pie of the EV battery supply chain. This is because for manufacturing batteries, massive investment is required towards cathode, anode, electrolytes, among other chemical components. Under the chemical stocks, Himadri Specialty Chemicals announced that it will invest about 4,800 crores over the next 5-6 to six years to set up a manufacturing facility for lithium-ion battery components. As per its latest investor presentation, Himadri is also in talks with the Ministry of Power to apply for the PLI scheme for grid-scale batteries. Tata Chemicals is also foreing and making a bet on lithium-ion batteries. The Tata Group is investing about 13,000 crores and setting up a lithium-ion cell manufacturing unit in Gujarat. Next up is Ami Organics, which is already a player in semiconductors and is now looking to set up a manufacturing facility for electrolytes along with a global manufacturer. It is focusing on two core products, liquid electrolyte additives, which increases the electrolyte capacity of lithium batteries and solid batteries. Another company is Neogen Chemicals. Neogen manufactures bromine and lithium-based organic and organometallic compounds used in the pharma, agricultural chemicals and engineering industries. As per the company's recent earnings call, it is planning to set up an electrolyte plant with 30,000 kilotons per annum capacity. While we've spoken about the listed companies, several startups and ancillary companies are also making significant investments to be a part of the supply chain. Companies like Ola Electric, which will debut on the stock exchange soon, have already raised 3,200 crores to set up a lithium-ion cell manufacturing facility in Tamil Nadu. 
Apart from that, companies like Log9 Materials, Munoth Industries and Loom Solar are making significant investments into the lithium and energy storage ecosystem. All in all, India is making some great strides in its effort of decarbonization of electricity and transport to combat climate change. Moreover, at the COP26 UN Climate Change Conference, India unveiled its ambitious goal to increase the non-fossil energy capacity to 500 gigawatts by 2030, obtaining 50% of its electricity needs from renewable energy sources by 2030, of which lithium will be a critical component in delivering a carbon-free clean energy future. The government as well has introduced various initiatives like the PLI scheme for national program on advanced chemistry cell worth a massive 18,100 crore to strengthen the battery storage in the country, followed by reducing customs duty on lithium batteries from 21% to 13% and battery waste management rules and so on to strengthen the ecosystem. In conclusion, while India is still reliant on imports, it must have greater control over the lithium battery supply chain. With energy storage systems playing a major part in decarbonization, India should make an effort to become a manufacturing powerhouse in addition trying to satisfy the home demand through domestic production. India's foreign policy must adapt to changing trends and prioritize strategic initiatives in key regions. While there is significant investments in place for the next few years, a concentrated effort on R&D, process optimization and recycling can help to lessen the requirements to import cell components from other nations. Having said that, this is me Ralison signing off. Have a great day and stay safe. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app Informed Investor to watch more such informative and interesting videos. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.